Hey, here to review Heart of Stone, new movie, original from Netflix that just dropped with uh, Gal Gadot and pretty much nobody I've ever heard of. It is a non-stop action thriller for about two hours. It's, it's just action scene after action scene. Every time they slow down to catch a breath, boom, they go right back into another action scene. It's got a lot of CG. In, in place of practical effects, which I don't normally like, but it's, it's done pretty well here. There's some really cool chase scenes. Uh, there's really great scenery. They go from Europe to the desert to Iceland. That bit's really cool. They play Lizzo. I did not like that part. The original music's pretty good, and they borrow but pay homage to a lot of different spy thrillers in it, so... Sometimes I thought that was really great, and other times I found it kind of distracting. So, like, the opening title sequence is, is kind of is animated a lot like an old James Bond movie, which I, I thought was kind of cool. I think, I think that's fine. Um, there's a lot of AI as the villain or AI and technology as a bad thing or, or our over-reliance on it as a bad thing. And I... I feel like they didn't spend too much time commenting on that, which I'm fine with. I really just wanted to watch a cool action movie, and this is that. So, overall, I would recommend it. It's worth sitting through once. I don't know if it's going to become an all-time classic. It's It's got a lot of similarities to some of the more recent Mission Impossible movies, especially the last two. There's... S someone saves someone while parachuting. That happened in the last one, last Mission Impossible. AI is a huge part of it. That happened in the most recent one. But I don't, I, I don't know really how you do a modern action movie without referencing that a little bit. I think AI is probably going to be a big part of a lot of the, a lot of the plots we see in action, sci-fi, everything moving forward in the next few years. And for all we know, AI wrote it. So I don't know. Overall. I would recommend it, but I don't know if it's going to be an all-time great. Check it out. Thanks, guys.